To produce an aircraft in large quantities, it needs to have certain standout features that set it apart from other aircraft. These aircraft, which range from military to civilian designs, have achieved impressive production numbers due to their reliability, versatility, and many other reasons. Whether used for training, sports, transportation, combat, or commercial aviation, each model has made a significant impact on aviation history, with each model bringing in technological advancements and changing aviation needs over the years. So don't forget to like and subscribe as you join us in exploring the most produced aircraft of all time and uncovering the reasons behind their large production numbers. Beechcraft Bonanza The Beechcraft Bonanza may not have the title of the most produced aircraft, but this bad boy has been in production longer than any other aircraft in history. Its production started back in 1947, and they've been pumping them out non-stop ever since, making it the longest continuous production run in aviation history. Over 17,000 of these single-engine, six-seater and low-wing aircraft have been manufactured for general aviation purposes. The Beechcraft Bonanza came into existence when the post-war aviation industry shifted its focus to the civilian market. It was a real game-changer in the world of small aircraft, thanks to its sleek aluminum body and futuristic design. At first, it was the go-to choice for hobby flyers, but nowadays it remains popular among charter companies. Since its inception, numerous variants of the Beechcraft Bonanza have been developed, some featuring its distinctive V-tail and others opting for conventional configurations. The company also focused on interior comfort, offering adjustable cabins and stylish designs tailored to affluent clientele, while maintaining consistent aircraft quality throughout its production history. Mill Mi-8 The Mill Mi-8 stands out on this list as the only helicopter and holds the distinction of being the most produced helicopter in aviation history. Since its introduction in 1961, over 17,000 units have been manufactured by the Soviet and later Russian industry. Primarily used as a military aircraft, the Mi-8 is employed by the Russian Army and around 50 other air forces worldwide. Military experts are big fans of this helicopter because it's versatile, reliable, and can carry some serious firepower. Over the years, various versions of the Mi-8 have been introduced, like the more powerful Mi-17 and the latest Mi-38. There are also smaller variations that come equipped with specialized gear for specific tasks, like electronic countermeasure choppers. Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-15 The Soviet Union's Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-15 holds the title of the most produced jet, with over 18,000 units manufactured during its production run from 1947 into the 1950s. The MiG-15 was one of the first successful jet fighters to incorporate swept wings, enabling it to achieve high transonic speeds. During the Korean War, it outperformed straight-winged jet fighters in aerial combat, prompting the United States Air Force to rapidly deploy the similarly designed North American F-86 Sabre to Korea. Despite being out of production for over 70 years, the MiG-15 remains in service with the Korean People's Army Air Force as an advanced trainer. Antonov An-2 The Antonov An-2 is a Soviet biplane aircraft that was designed and built by the Antonov Design Bureau starting in 1947. It's a pretty tough aircraft with a single engine, and it's been used for all sorts of stuff like utility work and agriculture, the cool thing about this plane is that it can handle rough runways and has a lot of lifting power. It was made until 2001, and they cranked out over 18,000 of them, many of which are still being used by both the military and civilians all over the world. This 12-seater passenger aircraft was originally designed for forestry and agricultural use, but its versatile airframe has led to the development of numerous variants. These include hopper-equipped versions for crop dusting, scientific models for atmospheric sampling, water bombers for fighting forest fires, flying ambulances, float-equipped seaplanes, and lightly armed combat versions for paratroop drops. Consolidated B-24 Liberator 
During World War II, the United States produced a whopping 18,188 B-24 Liberators, making it the most widely manufactured bomber of the war. The B-24 was a real game-changer when it first came out, boasting a sleek design with a super-efficient shoulder-mounted wing called the Davis Wing. This wing gave the Liberator some serious advantages, like a high cruising speed, a long range, and the ability to carry a massive bomb load. Larger, faster, more resilient, and more formidable than its contemporaries, the B-24 Liberators played a pivotal role in shifting the course of World War II. Interestingly, the first military to employ them was not the American forces, but the British, who acquired the planes through the Cash and Carry program from the United States. The formidable firepower of these American bombers significantly influenced the outcome of key engagements, including the Battle of Britain. But it wasn't until the United States officially joined the war that the B-24S really showed their stuff. With their long-range capabilities, these bad boys helped carry out bombing raids deep into Axis territory. Polikarpov Po-2 the reliable and uncomplicated design of the Po-2 made it an ideal trainer aircraft, as well as a low-cost option for ground attack, aerial reconnaissance, psychological warfare, and liaison missions during wartime. This versatility established it as one of the most adaptable light combat aircraft built in the Soviet Union. Combined production figures for the Polikarpov U-2 and Po-2 bombers and trainers range between 20,000 and 30,000 units, with official production ending around 1952. However, precise figures are elusive because low-rate production by small repair shops and aero clubs likely continued until 1959. Originally introduced as a civilian aircraft, the Po-2 was primarily used for agricultural tasks such as crop dusting and pilot training, earning the affectionate nickname Kukuruznik, or Corn Cutter. During World War II, the Po-2 was repurposed as a bomber, with its most famous operators being the all-female squadron known as the Night Witches, who conducted daring nocturnal raids against German forces. Piper J-3 Cub The Piper J-3 Cub's simple, lightweight design provides excellent low-speed handling and short field performance, allowing it to dominate early American aviation. Between 1938 and 1947, Piper aircraft manufactured 20,191 units, primarily in the United States, with some production in Canada. The J-3 Cub remains the most produced fabric-covered monoplane ever. Its straightforward design and relative affordability, comparable to the cost of a car, made it a popular sports airplane among amateur pilots. Due to its impressive capabilities, the J-3 Cub frequently appears in our videos, making it one of the most popular aircraft featured on this channel. Supermarine Spitfire When reflecting on the Battle of Britain, the heroic efforts of pilots flying the Supermarine Spitfire must be remembered. This aircraft holds the distinction of being the most produced plane by the RAF, with approximately 20,351 fighters manufactured. Designed as a short-range, high-performance interceptor, the Spitfire boasted a powerful Rolls-Royce Merlin engine and an exceptionally aerodynamic profile. Its superior flight capabilities, especially at high altitudes, played a crucial role in giving Britain the edge over the Germans. Alongside the Hawker Hurricanes, Spitfires successfully repelled the seemingly unbeatable Luftwaffe, marking a pivotal turning point in the war. It was the only British fighter continuously produced throughout the conflict. Today, it remains highly popular among aviation enthusiasts, with around 70 still in airworthy condition and numerous others preserved as static exhibits in aviation museums worldwide. Cessna 182 The Cessna 182, also known as the Cessna Skylane, remains one of the most popular sports aircraft today. Since its introduction in 1956, over 23,237 units have been produced by the Cessna Aircraft Company, which is now under the control of Textron Aviation. 
The versatile Cessna 182 serves various roles, including personal aircraft, charter planes, and transport planes. Additionally, these models can be modified to land on floats, enabling water takeoffs and landings. Beyond civilian applications, the Cessna 182 is utilized globally by police forces and militaries. Its compact size and exceptional versatility make it ideal for reconnaissance and surveillance missions, as well as quick business travel. Countries from Afghanistan to Venezuela employ these small yet powerful aircraft for official purposes. Cessna 150 and 152 the Cessna 150 and 152 series collectively stand out as one of the most popular general-purpose aircraft ever produced, with a total of 31,471 units manufactured with production beginning in 1958 and concluding in 1977. Both the Cessna 150 and 152 are single-engine lightweight sports planes, with the 152 offering slightly improved power, speed, and altitude capabilities compared to the 150. These aircraft were available in several configurations, including the standard basic model, the trainer equipped with dual controls for instructional purposes, and the deluxe commuter. Special options such as the patroller variant were also offered. Later additions to the lineup included the top-tier Commuter 2 and the Aerobatic Aerobat models. Known for their versatility, these aircraft are especially favored among amateur pilots who appreciate their straightforward controls, ease of use, and affordability. Piper PA-28 Series The Piper PA-28 Series encompasses a range of utility lightweight aircraft produced by the Piper Aircraft Company. Models include the Cherokee, Cruiser, Warrior, Archer, Pathfinder, Dakota, and Arrow. Due to their similarities, these variants are considered part of a unified series, and since 1960, approximately 32,778 units have been manufactured with ongoing production. This series is characterized by its low-winged, single-engine configuration, renowned for its lightweight design and versatile capabilities. Despite competing against larger manufacturers like Cessna, the Piper PA-28 series holds its own admirably. The primary strength of the Piper PA-28 series lies in its versatility. These aircraft serve various roles, from recreational flying to air taxi services, and are even employed for official purposes by military and police forces. Their user-friendly nature also makes them a favored choice for flight training and aviation clubs. Messerschmitt BF-109 The Messerschmitt BF-109 was the most produced aircraft by Nazi Germany, which first took flight in 1935 in response to a requirement from the War Ministry for a new monoplane fighter. Equipped initially with two machine guns and a single MGFF Orlikon cannon, it quickly demonstrated exceptional effectiveness and maneuverability. The BF-109 underwent combat testing in Spain during the Civil War in the spring of 1937 and proved highly successful, cementing its place as a cornerstone of the Luftwaffe's fighter fleet. The production of this remarkable aircraft started in 1936 and continued until 1958, resulting in a total of 34,852 units. Ilyushin IL-2 the Ilyushin IL-2 holds the distinction of being the most produced military aircraft in World War II and in all of aviation history. In response to the German invasion, the Soviet Union manufactured over 36,000 of these formidable fighter planes. When including its successor, the Ilyushin Il-10, a total of 42,330 units were built solidifying its status as the most produced military aircraft design and one of the most produced piloted aircraft ever. Known by the nickname Stormovix, the IL-2S were designed for easy manufacturing, resilience against heavy damage, and effective artillery deployment, making them crucial assets during World War II. 
Cessna 172. Cessna dominates this list with the Cessna 172 holding the title as the single most produced aircraft of all time. Since production began in 1956, over 44,000 units of the Cessna 172 have been manufactured with more expected since it is still in production. This high-wing utility trainer aircraft is widely recognized as one of the most common trainers and is beloved by general aviation pilots. It is a light, four-seat aircraft with a high-wing configuration that offers remarkable endurance. It notably set a record for the longest endurance flight when Robert Tim and John Cook flew non-stop for 64 days and 22 hours, covering approximately 150,000 miles, which is more than six times the circumference of the Earth at the equator. The Cessna 172's popularity as the most produced aircraft model ever built can be attributed to several factors, including its affordability and simplicity. This versatile single-engine aircraft is utilized for various purposes, but it is particularly favored among amateur pilots and flying clubs worldwide. 